Hello there, everybody. It's the Moran. Are you serious, dude? Look, man, I love this guy, but dang, I mean, who is this? Adam Sandler again. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Uh, Sandler, what's up, buddy? Yeah, bro, listen. We love you. You're like one of our idols. The man. You know, Happy Madison is like my favorite directing or movie company there is out there. We're going to be in your film, bro, but wait, one thing. Wait, Josh, tell him to say, she showed me a movie, and I like him too. Take you valley code to the devil. <laughs> I know, he's just tell he's like, he's trying to remind me about playing basketball last week, how we had told him that we were going to be in the movie, but dude, you can't call us like three times, you know we're shooting videos, you told me yourself, you've seen every one of them, you know we shoot on Sundays, all I'm going to do is ask you to give us three hours, okay, that's a, that's I'll call you hours. in a little while, and we'll set it up, just, we'll Skype, okay, we'll, we'll Skype. Skype with you, bro, I mean, you know we always like, in your face, that's right, ain't too old, ain't too old, that's right, man, all right, he wants to kiss your cheek. Ah! Thanks, Adam. We appreciate that. <laughs> Alright, man. We'll talk to you later, bro. Toodles. Alright, let's get back to it. Blow yeah. it up. Oh, boom. Sandler. Hey, hey listeners, bro. That's all we do up here. What we do, baby. Yo, it is week 98 of the Moran Brothers, and we are so excited to be here. Real quick, before we get to your story, and it's going to take the other three minutes, or two minutes. I wanted to say uh, happy birthday to my brother. It was uh, the 17th, which was a Tuesday. Uh, we haven't done a video since then. And real quick, uh, some famous people's birthdays that are like yours. Benjamin Franklin. Yes, Ben Franklin. Al Capone. Al Capone. Um, Vidal Sassoon. Oh, I didn't even know they had a birthday. Muhammad Ali. Andy Kaufman. Andy Man Kaufman. on the moon. Jim Carrey. Kid Rock. Coco Lee and Dwayne Wade. All right, now we're good. Go. Hey, did you know Pie by the Sailor Man was created on January the 17th? Anyways. Right. Um... The journey presses on, Josh. Week 98. 98 weeks I, into it. Everybody, you know I was sick a while back. I got a clean bill of health. Uh, the, for the five viewers that watch our videos, um, <laughs> they at least we have some people to keep up with us and care. You know, Bonnie Smiley, Bunny Bridget, you know. Who else? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I said matter. five, though. There's at least five. It doesn't even matter. All right, Quincy, so what's wrong with you now? Um, I know you've had some stuff bothering you for like at least six months that you were too scared to share. No, it's not that I was too scared to share. It's just I wanted to see it through so that I could tell everybody what was going on. All right, well, now that you've seen it through, um, kind of walk us through it and, uh, you know. what You know what's important to me, Josh. What's important is whatever we go through in life, we share it on our videos. Yeah, we take it, show it to our viewers, so maybe it's them, maybe somebody they know. It can help. They can pay it forward. Right. So B98, class of 98 in the house. Roll Tide. Um, about to go for the weigh-in. I, uh, Quincy went to Vegas last weekend, so we didn't do a weigh-in. And uh, I don't know, I didn't have a great week. This week, however, was pretty cool. But I'm to the point right now where... I can't really tell if I've lost weight. I can tell when I gain it. I can't tell if I lost it though. So we just gotta have to see what happens. And uh I don't really think it's gonna like kill me mentally if I don't lose weight. Murder him mentally. Murder Murder Later. It's a week 98 solo cam for the Q-Dog. want to say what's up to my peeps in Alabama. Big <coughs> shout out to uh, my buddy Ross Butler. Uh, my thoughts and prayers are with you. What's up, Kirsten? Got you, Dad. You got me? <laughs> Shut up. Oh. oh. On camera, disrespecting. You just got me. Dad, you okay? Well, here we go. I don't know what to think about what just went down. I don't have much to say. Dad, we talk. We will talk. Yeah. To talk to you. To talk. Peace out. So it was about six months ago, and I was working out, and this is kind of what happened. Yeah. So, after all that, uh, it was it was weird. I didn't know if I just pushed myself too far or what. 
Um, and a couple of days later, I was getting up out of my chair, and this is what happened. I raise you 20. Dude, I'll go 20 on that. Man, these chips are heavy. They're nice. What you got? There you go. Full house. Crap! I'm gonna get up and get something to drink. Alright, wait, cool. Yeah, it was alarming. I, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I started to get scared. It really bothered me. That's two. Um, I mean, that's like two weird things that happened. I mean, it is. And when you, uh, you know, when you hear that your dad has a heart disease and your papa had a heart disease, and here you are basically in the prime of your life in your 30s, and you start having some heart trouble. You have a family that's counting on you. You get nervous. Um, right. And what else? There was another thing that happened, wasn't there? Or something. There was. There was. I, I, I began to feel kind of out of it. Everything, well, this is kind of what happened. See, it's Ellen DeGeneres. Um, they want to know if we can if we can book a, uh, an interview on Thursday. Yeah, we'll okay. come on. We're good. Yeah, we're good for Thursday. Um, we look forward to seeing you guys then. I, Quincy. Okay, thanks. Quincy, are you okay? No, man. Everything. Everything's fine. Everything's cool. Let's, let's get back to work. It says here that we're up to uh, 18,000 views on our last video. Well, that's a little low, but it's, it's going Yeah, I know. We're using around 40 or 50. We, it, we just put it up like two hours ago. Quincy, what's up, dude? Dude, are you okay? It's the second time. No. Oh, man, things are fine. You're fine. Okay. I just, my heart was feeling... Well, I'm good now. We, we got things to do. Let's... This is good. This is good. Alright, dude. Hey, Quincy. Quincy. This what's is bull crap. What? What's the matter? Are you okay? I feel weird, but... You know, we got a... We have got a lot to do. Let's just get it done. The thing that's important to me, the reason I waited so long to share this is because I actually, uh, I actually went to the doctor. I spent some time in the hospital. It, it was like 8 to 12 hours, but I, I went to the emergency room. And what, what did you finally find um, out? What I finally found out is my testosterone dropped. Wow. So when all the tests came out from my heart, my blood, and everything else, um, it turned out that I had a low level of testosterone. And surprisingly enough, I'm this young, I'm getting healthy, I didn't understand why my hormones had dropped. Well, we don't want to be too long-winded, but how happy were you when you found out it wasn't literally like your heart? Well, when I found out it was actually a hormone level and it would, it's, it, I, it's able to be treated, it really took a load off my back. Um, I was concerned that I had congestive heart failure or heart disease or something of that nature, which really would have been ironic seeing as how I decided to get healthy. But here's one thing I want to recommend to everybody, Josh, and that's if you're just starting this journey... <coughs> or you're six months in, go get tested by a doctor, go to your doctor and request a blood test to see where your right. hormones are. Because for a while there, I was working really hard, Josh, and you right. know by the scale, I couldn't lose weight. It was very inconsistent. So I'm happy to report that I've been put on testosterone shots once a week for the next six weeks. I'm going to see if my levels come up and uh, glad to report that when I'm taking the shots, I'm feeling better and I believe... Uh, I believe I'm going to make a full recovery. Alright man, so we're good. Alright, thanks Ooh. for sharing, bro.
Week 98, the Moran Brothers in the house. Just one week away from Super Bowl, here we go. I called it, go. the Giants to take it and all. I called it before the playoffs even started. It's on record now. Last week, Josh I weighed in. I called it before the playoffs started, though. You also said Chris Renee was going to win the X Factor, and that yes, went nowhere. Yes, second or third, man. Shut up. That's not winning. Let's go. You didn't even say what I was last week. I did. You weren't listening. Last week, Josh was 194. With 190 inscribed upon his chest, here we go for the final weigh-in. Oh. Final weigh-in? What are you talking about? <coughs> the final countdown. Uh-oh. Batteries are dead. The batteries aren't Can working. this be? No, oh, here it goes. What the mother of What's food? that saying? 199. What were you last time? 228? You're going to be at least 220 right now. Quincy is 98 week of uh, the Moran Brothers. Biggest little rejects. We bounced to see what he is on the scale. I think he's skinny, but he looks nervous for some reason. Very nervous. This is week 100 or whatever. It's week 98. Oh, dude. this is week 98, man. I don't think this is going to kill you. Over time, we'll get to where we want to be. Watch him be 199. If you're 199, I'm taking you out for steak dinner right now. We'll leave right now and we'll go to Texas for a steak dinner. The I'm not state, going to Texas. The state of Texas. I'm not taking you to Texas. We will drive there and get a steak dinner. My tomorrow. car is not. See, well, the way my bank account is set up, <laughs> it's uh, all my money is in savings and uh, I, it takes three days to put it in checking. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Hart laugh at my pain. Go ahead. You see that? There comes time where you can use that actually. I can't see it. What does it say? You lost four pounds, dog. 224. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going right. back to my lowest weight. What was it? Lowest weight was 223. Was it? Oh, cool. All right, peace. The number you have dialed has been changed. The weight loss scale weigh-in. Scene five, take two. Two. Josh Moran. It's going to be different this time. 199. <laughs> yes. What the fuck? Oh, how, man? The weigh in. Week 94. Week 94. Week 96. Week 96. We're going to do the weigh in. Shut up. Let me, I'm the professional. All right. Week 98. Oh, yeah. The weigh in. 98, huh? Scene Class 5. 98. Josh Here's. Moran weighs in. Take three. All right, let's go. I lost 0.4 of a pound with two steps. <laughs>